I just discovered the best way to learn to code in 2025 and it's not what you might be thinking. Make sure you watch till the end because today I'll show you the exact path for you to become a software developer in the fastest way possible. There is a typical way to do it which leads to 90% people failing which is buy a course, start doing all the classes, learn about all of the technicalities, syntax, all the loops and functions and objects and classes and after that try to build something. Right? Most people are not able to watch through all of the tutorials and they might have some doubts in the way as well and they don't know what to do about it and so they end up just failing. Right? That's what happens. That might have also happened with you. But let me give you a better way to do it. It starts with you figuring out what do you want to make? What is it that you want to build in 2025? It could be a dating app like Bumble, it could be a streaming service like Netflix, or maybe, maybe you just want to build a simple snake game. Let's say you want to make the snake game. So that is the first step. The second step is for you to ask DeepSeek R1 to build it for you. What is DeepSeek R1? We'll cover that in some time, but if you go to chat.deepseek.com and click on DeepSeek R1 and ask it to write the code for a snake game in Python, something magical happens. Before it gives you the answer, it thinks. It will think for let's say 10 to 20, 30 seconds. And it tells you what it's thinking. DeepSeek is a simple chat app just like ChatGPT based on a large language model. But when it thinks, it tells you what it's thinking. And that is the magic. You see, in coding, it's not about the syntax. It's not about writing the right comments or making sure all the variables are named correctly. That is also a good practice, but it's really just about understanding logic. Like if you have to make a snake game, what is the programming logic that you need to know? And that is what you get in the deep seek R1 thinking part. It writes down, how is it thinking to answer this problem to solve this question? And that is fascinating. It first starts from first principles and tells you everything that it is going to do to build out that snake game using Python programming language. And that is all that you need to learn. Now, if you will ask it more and more questions that let's say make a JavaScript event listener for me. So it will give you the thinking process behind writing that code. Let's say you ask it to write a neural network in Python. It will give you the logic behind how that neural network is written. Why is it written that way? All in the thinking part of the answer. Don't even look at the answer itself. Just look at the thinking part of it. And that will build that logic that you would need to build anything that you want in the future. You know what happens? Most people who take up these coding courses, they learn the syntax and they can solve problems that they've done previously. Yet they're not building logic in their mind. And that is the big problem because if you don't have the logic, you won't know how to approach a new problem and create a app which can solve for it. If you see a new problem, you will never be able to write code for it because you don't understand the underlying fundamental principles of programming logic. Maybe you want to learn about React components. So instead of taking a course about what components are and how to create components in React, just simply ask it, create a React component for swiping mechanism in a dating app using pure React code. And it will do it for you and it will show you how it wrote what it wrote and what it really means. And then you will learn how to create something from scratch. That's all that you need to know in coding. That is how you become a software developer. So without scrolling, write the code yourself and then look at its answer. And then you can even paste the code in the chat and ask it, where did I go wrong? Or what do you think about this code of mine? How can I make it better? And its thinking capacity is what teaches you how to think about writing code. All of these tools like Cursor, GitHub Copilot are essentially making you paralyzed as a software developer because you're not coding anything from scratch. And hence, if you're a new developer, you won't ever learn the basics. But this mechanism using DeepSeek R1, you can learn everything from scratch. Once you look at its answer, once you analyze your mistake, then try building it yourself again. And just this process of constantly trying to make something, looking at the thinking logic part of it, and then building it yourself and cross-checking if you did it right or not. You do this properly and in about seven to 20 days, you would know the basics of programming from scratch, just using DeepSeek R1. But why don't we just use ChatGPT and why do we have to use DeepSeek R1? There's a difference. ChatGPT, the way it is trained, the model itself is based on supervised learning in which you are given data which is labeled. So it is telling you that this is 
what this thing is called. On the other hand, DeepSeq R1 is trained using reinforcement learning. So in reinforcement learning, there is an agent and it has an incentive to keep increasing its score. So every time you ask it a question, a problem, it will analyze what it can do to increase its score. What this means is that DeepSeq R1 uses chain of thought thinking, right? So if you will look at the way it thinks, it first comes with a conclusion. Then it tries to see if it is wrong in some way, or it tries to see if the person entered a wrong message or something like that. So it is very doubtful of its response. So it checks and double checks and triple checks. And it just that epochs of checking multiple times gives it a new perspective. And that is what makes it a better model to use. And once you start building anything, start taking up the 100 days of code challenge in which every day you would try to build something interesting and share your journey and progress on Twitter. You can use hashtag 100 days of code and with just that you'll be able to interact with the community better, get more feedback and just learn more and more about code and become a better developer and build that muscle of thinking about the logic part of it. Because once you figure that out, the syntax and other rules can be taken care later on and that's not the difficult part. That's all from me today. Thank you so much for watching this video till the very end. If you have any questions, let me know below in the comment section. I will make an in-depth video about DeepSeq R1 very soon about what all it can do for you. But I want you to subscribe to this channel to stay tuned for that. I will see you in the next video.